Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel, The Travel Diary Lalabs Edition. This is Rai Rai with my husband travel buddy Alan. It will be another exciting travel adventure. For today, we're gonna visit the beautiful city of Strasbourg in France. So join us by watching this video. But before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe. We woke up early for our train ride from Stuttgart, Germany to Strasbourg, France. Strasbourg is the capital city of the Grand Eastern region, formerly Alsace, in northeastern France. It's also the formal seat of the European Parliament and sits near the German border, with culture and architecture blending German and French influences. Strasbourg lies 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers west of the Rhine River on the Franco-German frontier. It is most famous for its charming beauty, its impressive cathedral, and its quaint houses. People visit this impressive city for its great historical sites. It is also known for its great museums, food, and shopping. Strasbourg is the second city in France in terms of international congress and symposia after Paris. Strasbourg historic city center, the Grand Isle or Grand Island, was classified a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in year 1988, with a newer new stad being added to the site in year 2017. From Strasbourg Central train station, if you're gonna walk straight, you're gonna see the Old Peter's Church. The Church of Old St. Peter's is by Simultaneum Catholic and Lutheran Church building in Strasbourg, Alsace. In the Middle Ages, it was one of Diocese of Strasbourg's nine parish churches. The Old St. Peter's Church was first mentioned in the 12th century, but the construction of the present Gothic Church began in the 14th century. With the Reformation, the Church became Protestant in year 1529, but when Louis XIV conquered the city in 1683, parts of the Church were returned to the Catholics and a wall was built to separate the two areas. Today, the part of the church on the side of the 22nd November Street is dedicated to Catholic worship, while the part overlooking the Grand Rue is dedicated to Protestant worship.
We're now near the Strasbourg Center Ville. It is a nice walkable old town with cobblestone street, car free and full of shops, cafes and restaurants. Spending hours in Strasbourg Old Town won't make time waste because there is so much to do and see in this old town. Even though Strasbourg isn't picturesque as Colmar Old Town, but Strasbourg Old Town is bigger and offer more activities. Finally, we're now here in the Centerville de Strasbourg. We visited here in November, so as expected, they are starting to build their Christmas tree, and there are already stalls for the Christmas bazaar. This center ville de Strasbourg is a charming center with UNESCO heritage, lined by canals and half-timbered houses. Features historic churches, museums, and a cathedral amidst diverse shops and eateries. The Centerville de Strasbourg is worth visiting because of its architecture, the cobblestone streets, the river, and the point of interest. You'll find beautiful ancient buildings, charming restaurants and bistros, and an excellent selection of cafes and bistros. From this UNESCO World Heritage Site, you can easily get to many of the famous landmarks in Strasbourg, such as the cathedral, the famous squares, and the museum.
I'm here in Strasbourg, France. I will end my video here, but this is not yet the end of our travel adventure here in beautiful Strasbourg in France. For there is more, so watch out for it. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share, leave a comment, subscribe and hit on that notification bell for more updates. I'll see you on my next travel video. Bye for now.